this one's going to be a pretty short video i'm not going to show you anything to invest into today because my racist ex-wife is now going to try to punish me for using loose change to make a little bit of money since i've been paying my alimony and slowly getting my arrears caught up like I said, there's a video there on YouTube escaping racism. You can see exactly what I got out of. And I've been punished for escaping that. And I'm sure if she goes to the court, you know, the court's going to be upset that I called them out and this and that. But I'm not a rare case in Florida, in case you're wondering. It's, it's common for people who escape abusive situations in Florida to be punished if they were the breadwinner. I think the most disgusting case I heard of is a woman who escaped with her life and her two children and now has to pay her ex-husband $5,000 a month for the rest of her life. And she's not a rich woman. She has a little doctor's practice. She's a chiropractor, I think, even. She's not even like a big surgeon or something. She's just a little, little medical business. Is so she, like me, has to live in fear, but where I only have to do it for a couple more years, she has to live in fear for the rest of her life that if she gets sick or if anything happens to her, she's going to be thrown in jail and she doesn't know what will happen with her kids. And It's just horrible. And if you're the breadwinner in Florida, you just get screwed with alimony. I mean, this man, with that woman... The guy literally made multiple threats against her life and her children's life. And she has it, like me, has all the documentation and none of that matters. She can afford to pay him $5,000 a month. Of course, she can't afford to have a decent life anymore paying him $5,000 a month. She can't marry anybody because if she marries anybody, that will be added into her income and then the douchebag that was abusing her could have her alimony raised which will put her in a worse position and then it will punish her new husband same with me i can't marry anybody because if they happen to be somebody making money then they get punished that's why my art store i've kind of been slowly putting together my inventory on my art store but i'm not advertising it really heavy yet you know i make a video here and there just to show off what's going on on there but i'm not really trying to sell anything on it yet because that's my work that's not anybody else's work that's my work and nobody else is going to profit from that work so i've just been taking a loss off that work even though i could tell from responses for people that i randomly do pictures for them when I send them to them. Usually it's their own pictures. I'll send them a picture of a profile picture that they have. And when I send it to them, they just, they're, they're just amazed. They, they keep asking me if they could pay me for it. And I tell them not to worry about it. It's fine. It was a, it was a promotion, <laughs> but that's what I'm dealing with. And so now she wants to go after my stock portfolio because I've managed to build up a stock portfolio using loose change. She's upset because I figured out a way to pay my bills, pay my alimony, and slowly pay my arrears. And because I'm doing that, she's afraid that, you know, I'm going to wind up somehow getting my arrears paid off and then be able to start paying ahead on my alimony before she can keep me in this role in prison. So, it's just ridiculous the way I'm being punished for escaping that and the way she gets to mock the system and make these judges look like complete idiots. Because she does, she goes into the court, she looks like the helpless grandmother type. She's real Karen. <laughs> but that's it just wanted to let you know why 
I can't do my videos anymore. I have to sell out my stock portfolio. I'm not allowed to have anything that can better me or in the future help me get ahead on my alimony even because if I do anything like that, that will work to my advantage and I, I'm not allowed to uplift myself. People like me are supposed to just stay in our chains and shackles like our ancestors did. And she has me in chains and shackles and that's where I belong. It's just the way it is. I have to learn to accept it. It's just that simple.